Hey, it's Aurelius and welcome back to the channel. In this video, you're going to learn 20 useful productivity tools for your business. Let's start with the first tool. Have you ever wanted to see what your YouTube thumbnail looks like on the different types of devices and views? Well, now there's a tool for that. It's called thumbsup.tv. So you can see what my thumbnail looks like, including the title on a web browser. We've got home large, home small, sidebar, uh, channel page large. We've got channel page small, the history page, and even on mobile and TV. So it's very easy to use this tool. Simply drag your thumbnail into your title and below you'll see what it looks like. We can see that the title cuts off right here where it says tutorial. We can either cut down on that and optimize the title so that it fits and looks good on all devices and views. You can even toggle dark mode so you can preview what your thumbnail and title looks like in that mode. So by using thumbsup.tv, you're able to preview your YouTube thumbnail before you hit that publish button. Next up, are you looking for a tool that can create eBooks, lead magnets, and PDFs really quickly? Well, there's a tool called Designer and you can see one I created in just a few minutes. So I've got a title page, a table of contents, nicely designed titles like this, and the rest goes on. By using Designer, you're able to use your existing content such as blog posts, podcasts, videos, and whatnot. And then that'll help you turn it into a nicely formatted ebook. When you're logged in as a member, you can choose from one of these options. Let's choose import from blog posts. Enter the URL of your blog post and you can add multiple articles if you wish. Then comes choosing a template from a number of templates I can choose from. Let's say this one right here. And now within an instant, it's converted that blog post of mine to this nicely designed ebook as you can see. From here, I can add different elements. I can customize the text, images, artwork, and shapes, different layouts, so on and so forth. Designer is a paid tool. However, if you use the link in the description, you can get lifetime access as well as my bonus offer. So check out the description for that. Onto a couple of email marketing tools. As you may or may not know, newsletters are the thing now. And if you don't have a newsletter for your business, then you are missing out and leaving a lot of money on the table. It's a great way to build relationships as well as follow up on leads that may convert to actual paying clients and customers. All right, so the first tool I wanna to share with you is an email marketing platform called MailerLite. With MailerLite, you can build an email subscriber base, store it all there, and then send your follow-ups, autoresponders, broadcast messages and newsletters in one place. It features a landing page builder, so you can choose from one of their pre-built landing pages and simply edit it based on your business. In terms of pricing, it is free for the first 1000 subscribers until you need to move on to a paid plan. So it's a great deal there, especially if you're just starting out. Next up, we've got another email marketing platform worth mentioning. It's called ConvertKit. It was created by creators for creators. So they understand the creative mentality and what tools and functions are required for creators. So you can do very much the same as what you can do with MailerLite. You can grow your audience, build your database there. You can send automations, sell your digital products even there. The pricing is free as well for up to 1000 subscribers. And they do have a landing page builder so that you can collect leads and subscribers too. Moving on, have you ever wanted to test out what your email subject line scores? Well, OmniSend has got this tool called Email Subject Line Tester. All you need to do is enter your email subject line. So in this case, we've got 20 business ideas for 2022. I'll click on test now. Based on this title, I've scored 92% and it says incredible, you've mastered the art of writing the perfect subject line. So down below, they justify it because of the length. There's 26 characters, word count, and other things such as wording. It is suggesting that I add helpful words. So you can see a list of words that can increase open rate. A few other things, we've got scannability, subject line preview, and some suggestions here, subject lines you'll want to still. So a pretty handy tool there, but I would take this with a grain of salt. Of course, this isn't the be all end all just because it's scoring 92% on here. Doesn't mean you can't go with it or not. All right, next up, if you're looking for a tool to see what people are talking about, look into answer the public, discover what people are asking about. Enter your keyword. In this case, I've just entered yoga mats. I'll click on search. All right, here are the results. If I scroll down, you'll see this kind of mind map. You've got yoga mats here and then yoga mats, which or what, and then when, how, will. So these are sentences and things that queries that people are asking or typing into search. For example, under what, we've got what yoga mat thickness is best, what yoga mat to buy, what yoga mat in general, what yoga mat is best on carpet, so on and so forth. So this will give you ideas in terms of what content to post or 
blog post to create. Perhaps you want to create a YouTube video about something and this will, your YouTube video may answer some of these questions right here. Next up, another great research tool is one called Uber Suggest by Neil Patel. So enter your keyword or key phrase and then click on search. And what will happen is with Uber Suggest, it will give you the total volume per month. You can also see paid difficulty, cost per click, and other keyword ideas. So by using these results and this data, give you a better idea in terms of what keywords to use when putting a bit of uh, funding into paid ads, or if you're doing a bit of market research or product validation, all this may be useful. With this next tool, you're able to create PDFs, even edit and sign your PDF documents. It's called Docfly. I actually created a video on uh, Docfly. I'll link it in the description box below if you wanna learn more. But what you do is you drag and drop any of your files. Like let's say one of your existing PDFs or you need to edit an existing PDF. What you can do on its editor is add things like fillable fields. We've got checkboxes. We've got a drop down right here. So all this can be added by using its editor. So you can add different things like a check, Cross, uh, image, signature, draw. You can add a link, highlight. And once you give that PDF to your clients or customers or subscribers, they can select and be able to type an answer in those exact fields that you specified. And Docfly is free. You can create, edit, and convert up to three PDF files a month. Now, this next tool is going to be really handy if you wanna create step-by-step -step guides, perhaps standard operating procedures or SOPs. It's called Scribe. You can see what it's about. Automate documentation, build training material, answer questions, assist customers, and much more. Now, just wanna show you, this is a step-by-step -step guide, a demo that I created. What it will do is, it will automatically take the screenshot for you and add a description associated with each. All you need to really do is install the Scribe Chrome extension and then you simply run your process as you normally would. Let's say you are teaching someone how to create a presentation in a Google Slides or whatever tool and then you simply run it. And after that, it will take the screenshots for you automatically and then add those descriptions as mentioned. After you've installed the browser extension, you'll see Scribe right here. And all you need to do is click on start recording and then you run your process and then it'll basically compile your step-by-step -step guide. It looks like this. Next up, we've got a tool that can process your audio. So if you do things like podcasts or videos or create any type of content where audio is involved, this is a tool, it's called Orphonic, and it will level your audio, normalize it, and even filter it. So sometimes it cleans uh, your audio really well. So let's say your audio is really soft, it can louden and normalize it to that normal level. So you can see with a previous audio that I imported, this was the original. This is basically the sound waves. So we can see it's more level. It's really simple to use. You simply choose your audio file and then choose your audio algorithms. We've got adaptive leveler, filtering, loudness normalization, noise and hum reduction and you can choose advanced parameters going deeper with the settings. Next up, if you're looking to sell products and services online, let's say an ebook, an online course, a membership, even coaching calls, then this platform allows you to do all that. It's called Payhip. You can sell digital downloads, online courses, coaching, memberships, even physical products. It's really easy to use. Let's say you wanna sell a digital product, upload your digital product file. Let's say it's a PDF document or a template and then fill in the rest of the details. You've got the title, price, product image, added description, choose a visibility, and then add the product. And once you've added your product or products, you can use a store builder to create your own online store like this right here. So really cool and easy way to start selling products online. Another platform worth mentioning is called Gumroad, and it's very similar to Payhip. You can create digital products, course or tutorial, eBooks, and much more. But in my opinion, out of the two, I would choose Payhip because they've got more functionality such as marketing. We've got coupons, social discounts, starting your own affiliate program so others can promote your products and services, even creating your mailing lists, cross-selling, referrals, and creating upgrades or upsells too. All right, moving on for project management, note-taking and pretty much everything, I highly recommend you use Notion. It's one I've been using for many years and you can create things like a content planner. You've got this streamline, have all your ideas in one place, move it on to the next. So it kind of works in this process and workflow so you know where each and every task is. You can change the different views, so the layout, 
Let's say you only want a list view, you can change it like that. You can even create a dashboard like this and create daily things that you need to do. You've got life goals and plans. And here's another version of a dashboard. You've got business, personal and health related uh, pages and projects. And if you don't wanna start from scratch, you can always go to templates, select under design, student, engineering, human resources. I've got different templates for each. So I've got roadmaps, I've got user research databases and much more. Now with all these websites and tools, it can get pretty overwhelming trying to remember your logins for each and every one of these websites what I would do is to use a password manager one I've been using for many many years and it's pretty secure it's called LastPass LastPass sits on your browser right here and then you can create your favorites you can basically save all your logins in one place and vault and it also auto fills your login whenever you revisit a website where you save your login into LastPass too so if you're running any type of business where sensitive information is crucial to hold make sure security is top of mind and LastPass is just one of the steps you can take. All right, this next tool doesn't need any introduction, but I have to mention it because it's one of the most essential tools for your business. It's none other than Canva. Did you also know with Canva, you can create a website by selecting or searching for website, you can choose from a number of these templates. So let's say you wanna create uh, a template or a website using this template right here, click it once. And now I've got a website where I can simply customize with my product details and so on and so forth. From here, I can click on publish website, select with or without navigation, and let's click on continue. I'll just use the default subdomain right here. All right, now that it's published, the website is live. Let's go ahead and view our website. All right, and here we go. This is what it looks like on desktop and it should also be mobile friendly. It looks pretty good, pretty clean, pretty professional in my opinion. So for anything design related, even creating eBooks, invoices, or editing videos too, use Canva. I've got a ton of videos on each of those subjects in the description box below. All right, these next websites are going to help you write content faster and easier. So the first tool I wanna to share with you is called Writer. So Writer is powered by artificial intelligence. And with that, you're able to basically write a topic and then it will write the rest for you. AI is not a replacement for humans, which is true. It is just a tool to make life easier. So I've entered that prompt and let's see what writer can do. On the left, you can do things like select the tone. You can have convincing, casual. Let's stick to casual. Choose the use case. You can choose from a blog idea, an outline, brand name, business ideas, so on and so forth. Enter a primary keyword and the number of variations in terms of blog ideas and outlines. So I'll choose three variations and I'll click on write for me. And in just a few seconds, Writer has given me these blog ideas and outlines. So I've got AI writing assistance, we've got the introduction as well as the keywords. Since I selected three variations, here's one variation, then we've got two, and the third variation right here. And what you can also do is, let's say with this sentence right here, I can rephrase. And now the sentence has been rephrased. Not bad, right? If you like that, you may also like copy.ai. Now with this, you can choose from a number of different templates too. So we've got social media content, we've got emails. Let's say we wanna write a welcome or confirmation email. Let's select that once, start a new project. Follow the prompt, so what are you looking to create a welcome email? What are the main points you want to cover, fill it all in and choose a tone and then create content. And once that's done, you can see some welcome emails right here. You can copy and paste it to your email marketing provider or to your autoresponder messages. So it's a great way to save time or if you need some prompts to start with or use as a guide. And don't forget to check out copy.ai's range of free tools such as a free Instagram caption generator, product description generator, and much more. It's available at copy.ai forward slash tools. Now, another AI powered writing tool Tool is called Jasper. This one's really popular among the community and it's worth taking a look at if you do want to create content for your business. I won't say much more about it since most of these AI powered writing tools are very similar. But just to give you an idea, we've got a text summarizer, paragraph generator, ADA, framework, problem agitate, solution, product description and blog posts, topic ideas and much more. Next up, we've got a tool called Descript and with Descript, allows you to record your videos 
And what it will also do is remove those ums, ahs, and those filler words for you automatically. And in addition to that, it will transcribe your videos and audios into text. So you can see this example from Descript. This is the editor and it's detected the ums and ahs and so's. You can very well remove all this so that you have a cleaner video and it just looks and sounds better and more professional. And that's just one of the powerful tools that Descript offers. It also includes a video editor and screen recorder too. Now this next website is more of a service. It's called Rev and it will let you transcribe any speech to text. So you can choose from a number of their services from audio and video transcriptions, closed captions, global translations as well. If you want a human to transcribe let's say your podcast or your YouTube videos, you're looking at $1.50 per minute. However, if you do use their automation tool, then it comes down to just 25 cents per minute. With all my YouTube videos, I use Rev to create those closed captions or subtitles because sometimes YouTube isn't as accurate. Whereas if I use Rev service, I've got an actual human transcribing my videos. So if you've got any audio or video that you need transcribe, use Rev. All right, all in, those are the 20 productivity tools to help you in your your business. Let me know in the comments which of these you'll be using next. I'd love to know. In the meantime, I'll leave up a couple of relevant videos for you to watch next. Thanks so much for watching. Do take care.